no, I, I, that's the biggest challenge right now. It's a great question because that's it. That's I hear about me talking about the sweet spot right now. Like we have some, we have some guys that are really playing really well. And we have some other ones we know in March. They really will be far better players. But some some players are just good enough that they'll get you beat a lot in November and December. And with it, with the way it is at our level, you got to win in November, and December as well if you want to play in March. So that's the balancing we're trying to do. How do we speed this, these guys up? Where some guys might be just more solid right now, while we we go with the other ones. So treading that line right now is difficult. Of how much do we just let people play, or probably push the young guys? How much do we run what we run and just let them go? But, Every day we think about it, believe me, because that's that's the key word. Yes, sir. Could I follow up? Yeah. Um, last year, uh, Muhammad and Aubrey obviously getting a, a lot of time to develop. I think touched on a little bit with Chris. Is that, I mean, that's got to give you a little bit of, like, a, a, little, like a, it's a positive, I guess. Well, it is. It's, they're not running around, you know, blind right now. But there's more expectations when you when you do when we did put the, put that in. Now this now you got to have that next level. Last year you were trying to figure out what you had to do. Now you got to try and figure out all right what's the opponent trying to do and what am, what am I where do my teammates need me? So there's there's still more that they have to continue to do. But it, it certainly is better than them not playing at all last year.